Personal Narrative Day 7 On Day 7, our objective is to write the conclusion paragraph for our story. When you write a conclusion, you provide closure for the essay. That means you wrap it up with a nice little bow. When you write a conclusion, you can also include a takeaway or an essential message, like what did you learn from your story? And there are several different conclusion types we can choose from. One type of a conclusion is you can end with a wish, a hope, or a dream. For example, I hope I get to ride that roller coaster again someday soon. I wish I didn't have to go home. I could definitely stay here forever. Or, I have dreams of things getting better, but I know it will take time. And we can choose from is a reflection. Here are some examples. I am a much stronger person than I initially thought I was. Looking back, I should have listened to my mom and dad. Or, next time, I will remember to pack for my trip the night before. And we can use is a moral. Here are some examples. I learned a big message that day. If at first you don't succeed, try again. Sometimes what seems is best at the time is not actually the best for you. Or, I realize that you should never ju judge a book by its cover. Illusion is big feelings. I feel like the luckiest kid in the school to have won the spelling bee. I never want to go on that ride again. Pollution is awful for the environment and we all must do our part. Or I have been terrified of bees ever since. Now that I've learned the different types of conclusions, I'm going to go back to my personal narrative. I already put my name, I filled in my small moment. I filled out my outline. Now here, in my outline, I wrote down a conclusion sentence. I'm going to add that, but this is actually going to be the last sentence in my conclusion paragraph. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it now. I'm going to highlight the whole thing, and then I'm going to use a two-finger touch to bring up my right-click menu, and I'm going to click Copy. Then I'm going to go down in my slides to the conclusion paragraph and I'm going to paste that here. I'm going to use a two finger click and click paste. I'm going to make it fit inside this box at the top. Just move it down. So for mine, I wrote, I had so much fun at beach this morning. Well, it's supposed to be the summer, I think. So I'm going to correct that. And then here's where I'm going to write my conclusion. Well, I need to think about the types of conclusions that I could choose from again. And I'm going to look back at the different conclusion types I have. I can use a wish, a hope, or a dream, a reflection, a moral, or big feelings. Hmm. I'm, I'm thinking between big feelings and I think I'm going to use a wish, a hope, or a dream. I think I'm going to use this type. Now that I know I want to use a wish or a hope or a dream, I can start writing it here. I Oh, I get to go back to the beach next summer. I'm actually going to put what I put here. I had so much fun at the beach this summer. I'm going to put that at the beginning. I'm going to type, I had so much fun at the beach this summer. I hope I get to go back to the beach next summer. Once you have finished your introduction, you are finished with day seven. 